Hi, this is problem 311. This is the first problem we are solving in 3D. So we are working in equilibrium of particles. In this case, we have here the particle A is subjected to 300 pounds and we have three cords that sustain that point in equilibrium in 3D. We have a coordinate system, which is X, Y, and C. This is a inertia, so it doesn't move, it's fixed, right? And then we have the information of these three chords in space. And they want us to find the values of the tension of these chords. So if we do the free body diagram of this system, we will have something very similar to this drawing, right? So we have our coordinate system, x, x in this direction, sorry, x, y, and c. And then we have the weight. The weight, I will draw it in pink. This is an active force and is known. 300 pounds is a load that I'm applying. And then I have three reactive forces, forces that are uh, to be found. They do not. I will call this one tension B, this one tension C, and this one tension D. So this is my free body diagram. Of course, I have information regarding the direction of this load. This is 60 degrees. This is 30 degrees. And I have information regarding the position of this load which is 120 degrees between y and the force is 60 and this is 45. So as you see my free body diagram is very similar to the actual original picture but here I have the chord from the beginning to the end and here I have a tension. So the chords since I cut and I isolated the point A from the surroundings, I took the connections to those ropes out, and then I have a tension of the ropes. So in order to apply the equations of equilibrium to this system, the first thing that I have to do is write each of these uh, forces in terms of the, its coordinates, right? For example, the weight is easy. Right, so let me write uh, forces and tensions or the forces which are the active forces and the reactive forces which are the tension in terms of coordinates. So I have the weight which is negative 300 in K pounds. So it's negative because it goes in the opposite direction to the positive arrow of my C axis. Let's do TB. TB is in the positive direction of X and it does not have any component in Y or C. Therefore, is the magnitude, this is a vector, let me put that as a vector, very important, TB magnitude and the direction, the direction is in I and also pounds. So I always will write the vector in terms of a magnitude and a direction. Let's do now T sub C. T sub C will be equals to the magnitude, right, times the direction. So, but how do I find the directions, the components of this vector? First of all, I'm given two angles. The first angle is this 60 degrees right here, which is the angle between the force and the plane xy. So if I decompose this force, it will be decomposed in a horizontal, let me call it TC horizontal, and a vertical component, TC vertical. So the TC horizontal will be, as you see, this is, the, this is a right triangle. We have to see it as 
you have to see that plane over here, which is this. This is the hypotenuse, and the horizontal will be in the plane x, y, in the quadrant that it has x negative and y positive, and it will be this c, as you see, cosine of 60, which will be this magnitude, cosine, because cos why cosine? Because this is the adjacent to this triangle. And the vertical will be this c, sine of 60. This vertical is parallel to C, that's actually TCC already. So, and this one over here, I have to further decompose. And to further decompose, I have to create this triangle right here. To decompose that in TCX and TCY. So it's getting a little bit crowded, but we did this kind of decomposition in chapter two, please review which is decomposing a vector given the angle between the vector and a plane, and we further decompose the vector in the component. So, I will write here that this is a vector, and this is TCX in I, plus TCY in J, and TCC in K. And what are these components? TCX, as you see, was the horizontal component times the angle, this 30, sine, because it's the opposite of this right triangle over here. So therefore, the x component will be tc cosine of 60 times sine of 30. That's in i. In y, and it, of course, it's, this is in negative because it's in the negative direction respect to, let me get that clear that this is a negative value here. Then the y component, which is this one right here, will be also the horizontal, which is t c cosine of 60 times cosine of 30, because it's parallel to this over here, which gives me the one along y component, so this one right here. So it's cosine of 30, and that's in j. And the c component will be tc sine of 60 in k. So we were able to find the three components of the, this tension over here. Finally, we have TD as a vector, and we will use these angles to find the cosine uh, vector. So that will be TDC that multiplies cosine of the angle that forms with the x-axis in I plus the angle that forms with the positive side of the y-axis. So if this is 60, this has to be 120. So the one that I'm using is this angle right here, which is 120. So that will be cosine of 120 in J, plus the angle with the c-axis, which is cosine of 45 in K. Great, so we have the active force and the three reactive forces in its components. Now that I have everything in components, I will apply the equations of equilibrium. So I will do it over here. Equations of equilibrium will be adding the forces in x equals to zero. And I will add each of the components in x of each of these forces. So the weight does not have any component in x. TV does, so it will be TV. I, I don't have to write the I because I am already in x direction. I will write this component, which is this one right here, which will be negative TC 
cosine of 60 is 1 half, and sine of 30 is 1 half as well. And then I have, that's it, right? So I have this in I, this in I, and this one in I. And that will give me the TC will be negative TD because cosine of 120 is the same as cosine of 60 negative, which is a one half. And that is equals to zero. So that gives me my first equation. The second equation is in Y and then the weight does not have any component in Y. TV does not have any component in Y, so I have to get this component. And this component is this one right here. So I have TC cosine of 60 is 1 half, cosine of 30 is square root of 3 over 2. And then I have this one right here, which is 0 TV 1 half equals 0. And finally, I have my equation in C. Now I do add the weight. This one does not have any component in C. Here I have the, the sine of 60, sine of 60 square root of 3 over 2, positive. And then I have this one right here, also positive, the, the Sine of 40, cosine of 45 is with square root of 2 over 2 minus the weight. I have three equations, 1, 2, and 3, with three unknowns. What are my unknowns? The magnitude of TB, the magnitude of TC, and the magnitude of TD. So solving the system of equations, I got the answers right here. So I got that TB is equals to 139 pounds. I got that TC is 103 pounds. And TD is 176 So just to review what we did, always first our free body diagram, it gets a little bit crowded over here, but you always have the original uh, figure to look at the angles. Remember that TB is only in the x direction, TC we have to decompose it in horizontal and then further decompose the force and for TD we use the cosine vector. And once we have the tensions in components, we can do our equations of equilibrium.